but the Maya did not call Nigerians noise maker. Ajim actually did. The only thing what the Maya may have done is describe a situation and you to match it. It's up to you. So if what the Maya say noise pollution, and you now feel like the people that can pollute the hair with noise, like and that can really pollute everywhere with noise and Nigerians. So waiting be this fella said. I did not say Gida or I said Baba. If you say Gida, now you sabi. So, what the Maya only said, noise pollution. You, you say Nigerians. So, you feel like Nigerians are the ones that deserve that title. Because, of course, you are angry with them that they didn't make you a star. Surprised that some people are complaining. Why are you complaining when people give you back a little bit of what you have been given all your life? When it comes to social media bullies, majority of these bullies are made from your favorite country. They drag and they call it cruise. Nigerians will drag other people, mock Ghanaians, mock everybody. When Ghanaians complain, they will say it's cruise. So you not do the events, not cruise with the cash. Okay, now they say made cash smoke. It cruise, now they won't catch. Everywhere is on fire. Hey, they hate us so ah, Nigerians hate it like this. Why are <laughs> anyways? Indians are there at the comment section of our gym defending because you guys have a lot in common with Indians. Yeah, Ghanaians, you can't compare Ghana to any African country. They have gone far. Ghana is like America. Mm. The reason like Americans, they love their country, they defend their country, they care about their own, they want to protect their country, they do this for their country. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello there, welcome. My name is Lillian. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscription button. Turn on the bell notification. That way is the only way you can get notified anytime I upload a video. Guys, do not forget to like this video as we go straight into this video. This is a reaction video and this video is about Wode Maya by Agchi Maxi. Now, the truth is I am not subscribed to any of these psycho fans on YouTube. That is nothing but the truth. From time to time, I go on their channels to see if they are still taking their medication or not. If they're already out on the street causing news and then I will know. So on one of such routine visits to Ajim's channel, because I have still, see, I saw a video at the front page of YouTube by another one, by one other YouTuber. So when I saw that video, I, I visited Ajim's channel channel see if he's still taking his medication there i realized that he's out again on the streets and this time his madness is on with the maya and you'll be wondering would well, the maya is a nice guy so what's the problem what does ajim has against this guy see ajim does not have to have anything against you all you have to be all you have to do is just be a Ghanaian or be associated with ghana for the right reasons and in Ajim, he will pretend to hate you so much he will pretend he hates you but in reality he does not Ajim does not hate Ghanaians later in the video i'm going to explain everything to you Ajim is using a strategy to grow and survive on youtube for proper introduction hey who is Ajim? what is Ajim? lillian we don't know Ajim well let me introduce for those that um are new here for those that are not aware of this guy formerly Ajim was from bakasi peninsula in nigeria at the south south part of nigeria before bakasi was taken over by the government of cameroon after the won at the international courts by the time cameroon won the ownership of the bakasi peninsula Ajim automatically became a Cameroonian and already has dreams of building his music career. Now that dream is a bye-bye according to his own understanding of how to succeed in Africa. He strongly believed that you have to be a Nigerian, but since that dream of being a Nigerian got taken, he has to do it the other way. So since that is taken, Ajim went on, thought of what to do to make it in life. Now started to study Nigerians and he now realized that 
if you're on YouTube and you need attention on YouTube, you want Nigerians to pretend to love you on YouTube, do videos hating on Ghanaians and they will pretend they love you. They will show you fake love. He believed that by the time he won their hearts, whatever he wants, he can get it. His music career that he only upload just a video and that video didn't do past 10,000 views. So he realized that the best way to deal with Nigerians and get whatever he wants from is to be their town crier, their sympathizer, their awalua. So Ajim creates content instigating hate between Ghanaians and Nigerians. You can see the leakages, right? You'll be wondering, but what about his country? No, his country, he kept it aside, one corner. Mm -hmm. And then he was looking for countries that are selling on social media. And then he realized that Ghana and Nigeria are good to go so he used them thinking that with that he can elevate his life he did that for quite a while but nothing came out of it out of desperation though he was able to raise about 20 percent of the money spent at his wedding to his elderly wife ajim is married to an elderly woman old enough to be his mom ajim's wife is um they carry me they go yeah carry me they go my husband house yeah he's married to an elderly lady and so he was able to make some money on youtube and support the wedding now do you know that ajim is depressed his depression is so bad that is now ajim is so depressed that now he's now turning against the fingers that felt him ajim has the nerves to call nigerians noise makers anyways i'm gonna play it he turned that and rub it on with the maya because you want to call nigerians noise maker and you didn't grab ghana by the side to rub it on ghana to say it's ghanaians that said it that is the only way these wallowers will continue to wall to pretend they are mad <laughs> anyways i'm going to play the video for you guys for better understanding don't come for me okay and you should know that i'm affected in a way because him calling my people noise makers <laughs> It means he's calling me too but i don't mind anyways i like to talk i like to make noise all right so this video i'm going to react to it differently um i won't play that evil face on my channel okay he refers to nigeria as noise pollution he has something against wodemaya and for your information ajim has everything against anyone from ghana or if you are associated with Ghana, he has something against you, which I totally understand. But you guys, when you look at this guy deep, 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 you will know that he does not really hate Ghana or Ghanaians. Ajim's problem is desperation because he come to he he realizes along the line on that journey. So then he realized that no matter how hard he tries, if you if you do not insult Ghanaians. Nigerians are never going to watch that video. So Ajim had no choice but to adopt it. But now it's getting into him, like getting into him really deep. Because you know, that desperation for whatever you're doing it for is it's still there. The urge for bigger and better is still there. And Ajim is going better and bigger with his hate for Ghanaians. And this time is with the Maya but nobody like absolutely nobody ajim called nigerians noise makers now listen to this video i told you guys that you see nigeria will raise people and the people will turn to look down on nigeria nigeria will put in their effort to help people and transform their lives and the people will get up and look down on nigeria oh no 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 did I, Jim, did I hear him well? He said, transformed your life. Like, their lives or life. Like, wait, let me listen again. This is exactly what is happening. Guys, I want to show you guys something that one of the greatest YouTubers in Africa, a Ghanaian YouTuber for that matter, whose career started and become a success thanks to Nigeria. But today... This Ghanaian person is calling Nigeria names. 
okay you guys hold on okay let's not pretend that um we are not noticing that our gym is is, is in distress a gym is depressed okay this is not part of the video but this is just my observation about this guy right now a gym looks like he has been drinking for a very long time he looks troubled he's worried he's depressed and well that is by the way let's keep going I'm a Ghanaian brother get mind to sit down call Nigeria names it's unbelievable, it's unimaginable. I mean, I know it's football, but there are ways that you have to go about this thing. You cannot look down on a nation that literally raised your career and put you at the top. Hold now, on. Okay, so Ajim is implying that Nigerians actually built Wodemaya. They made him. What he's trying to say is Wodemaya is made by Nigerians, or let's say made in Nigeria according to him but then again should i talk <laughs> make i talk i be make i not talk because why i'm asking is because i don't understand so nigerians has the ability to bless someone i mean to okay fine to bless somebody's youtube career and you their number one weapon their town crier is living and saying Ajim said he's struggling. He, we'll get to that part. You, their number one town crier that is desperate for the uh support. You are at you are at 25,000 subscribers after how many years of working hard for them. So it means they are using you without rewarding you. But with the Maya who never any day do anything for them according to Ajim. Udemaya got supported by Nigerians. I mean, his opinion, not mine. My own is coming later, so keep watching. Now, Udemaya has forgotten where he was in China, struggling with his YouTube channel, just as I'm struggling now. Eh? Nigeria. Oh. You see, I told you guys earlier that our gym is struggling. But it's, I know some people think, oh, Lily is at it again. You're doing that because you have uh, bad feelings about this poisonous guy. No, I'm not saying that because of that, but I could notice it. Like I could see it. He's struggling, and I could see that struggle is not hidden. And now he has used his mouth to say he is struggling on YouTube. This confession is coming after he has tried to make it on YouTube by all means. And you know what? He has to abandon his son uh, to go get married to an elderly lady who is old enough to be his mom's younger sister. That's his auntie. His auntie. Yet, no way out. He left YouTube because he got demonetized. He left and returned. After he got demonetized, we didn't see him again. But before now, I used to say YouTube not be anything. After he used Nigerians to get married, to add to his elderly wife's money to get married, he thinks it's okay for him to call Nigerians a name. And a name as painful as help. Like, he would use his mouth to say it because, I mean... Hold on. Now, wow, this guy is struggling and everybody is looking away. This is where... This guy, this guy left uh, China, came to Nigeria and started doing videos about uh, industries in Nigeria, how Nigerians are making money, Nigerian companies, Nigerians are making cars, and that's how his channel blew up. And I can tell you till today that more than 50% of his followers and subscribers on Wudumaya channel are Nigerians more than yet what up? yet Nigerians refuse to help the Cameroonian Desperado a Nigerian. any youtuber in Africa that is making it big that is making big success anywhere in this world Nigeria is the brain behind that success Nigeria is the power behind that success any African 
okay now now you see what i'm talking about so ajim has a strategy at the beginning of his youtube channel because he, he has this idea that nigerians are the only ones that can make you so he has to like align with them and he was patient enough to understand they are weak points he understood their weak point and came up with it and use it against them that is him coming with it coming with Ghanaians, you know, rubbing them against each other and making them to clash. Because that is the only time that Nigerians would generally, when it comes to this social media thing, support you. Except they are learning from you. If you, are, if you have a valuable content on YouTube where Nigerians are learning from, they will come. Because nobody is willing to waste any of their data or nonsense or maybe you are making them to laugh mm -hmm. these are the only times that nigerians will support you aside that if you are not insulting Ghanaians, there is nothing for you and ajim knew that he has no value whatsoever to add to get the attention of nigerians so the only value that he can add the only thing he can do to get the attention of nigerians is to use ghana and he did that religiously yet nothing is coming out now call nigerians name using style to cause nigerians now wow listen though how many african artists that is succeeding in africa achieving big things in africa at any level nigeria is the brain behind that african artist success even the camerina libyanka in america the boyfriend is for the way in nigeria the team is nigerians nigerians are the one making the you guys you see this part i cannot argue with ajim when it comes to music nigerians are blessed nigeria is at it like they have it going so well all right i'm not going to argue with that but aside that <laughs> another thing they have going good for them on youtube here is dragging other national other nationalities right but anyways this is a gym let's listen mm -hmm. every Ghanaian song that has trend all over the world nigeria is the brain behind it every Ghanaian movie every movie in africa everything concerning entertainment in africa that has achieved greater success anywhere in this world out of africa nigeria has been the brain behind it go and quote me anywhere quote me anywhere and that is pure fact no one no one can refuse this fact you get the point now so let us be clear on that i'm glad that ajim proved me right because see i don't sit down and make up stories about people i can see you once or not even get to see you i can just watch you behave right i can just by looking at what you write not about me you may not be aware of what you're writing but just do your thing or let me see a picture of you i will tell a lot about you when i stumbled on this face all i saw was a desperate young guy who was struggling and i'm going to be a singer in future and i'm going to excel as a nigerian he realized that it's not working that plan is snatched from him so now he has to like go back to become a nigerian by crook by using nigerians against other african countries nigerians can make somebody <laughs> and they didn't make you then there is a problem let's keep listening to this guy you can see clearly all of us know who the Maya is though so i don't need to be putting his pictures here this is a popular Ghanaian YouTuber. I have nothing against you. Don't come and say, oh, Ajin, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love Woodmire. Woodmire inspired me. And today, I'm I'm insisting that my YouTube career must go through thanks to people like Woodmire. Hey, 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 hey. His YouTube career must go through doing what niche again? Like this niche? Ah, you see with this niche, bro, you are going nowhere okay you are going nowhere i'm not cursing you i know they swear for you my brother but you see with this ninja eh, ajim ajim you see this ninja you know they go anywhere now me they tell you you see this youtube with this particular ninja except of course you drop it hmm? you sit down and have sense if you want to talk about people 
that are not from your country i mean why do you think you can you can talk about people from other countries i mean like it doesn't even make sense yeah like make it make sense that you will leave your own country to sit down one corner they chill you go grab another man country grab another man country go jam their head together like you want to better for you biba will like how where is the magic how are you gonna do that already i told you guys that this guy is a desperate guy who has ambitions to feed but you know he wants to feed at the buy to in his buy to feed his ambition is desperate and ready to do whatever it takes so with this niche bro you are going nowhere just so you will know so if you are looking to see yourself at 100k views 500k views 1 million 1 million views on youtube with this ah well miracle you know the tire jesus <laughs> Let's listen. And many other YouTubers that are inspiring me in Africa, and definitely Woodmire was the first. But this gesture of Woodmire to call Nigerians noisemakers? I mean, Woodmire, what are you thinking? Calling Nigerians noisemakers? Wow. Okay, now you'll be waiting in order not to waste your time. And I know some people, especially Ghanaians, will be like, hey, Eradi, I hope this guy have not gone there to spill or um, insult on other people. No, Wodemaya is still your good boy. He did not insult Nigerians. He wrote, he made a tweet on Facebook or Twitter somewhere. And this guy lay hand on it. See how. Nigerians, to say that thank you to Cote d'Ivoire for helping Africa survive noise pollution. Hey, you guys, for those that are afraid, oh, would the Maya, he didn't call Nigerians noise makers. Help, this guy did. Maya, Nigeria is <laughs> noise pollution. Hmm? You call the whole country Nigeria noise pollution. Hey, you see how Jim ah, Robbins? You see, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I am really still thinking about it. I understand the other post he's making about eagles. Eagles are down. Okay, so because you heard it from Ajim, Ajim said Nigerians are noisemakers because Wodemaya did not say that. He only tweeted on Twitter or Facebook, wherever that tweet is from, that thank you, Avery Coast, for saving Africa from noise pollution. This could mean a lot of things. This could mean, I'm not defending Wodemaya in any ways, if that's what he said or not, but he didn't say it. He did not mention names. Ajim actually felt like that could be the best people that that suits is Nigerians. Corny way of doing it. If you do not drag Ghana into it, nobody will pay attention to it. So that is it. And I told you guys that Ajim, I wouldn't say Ajim is jealous. I would never sit here and say Ajim is jealous of Wodemaya. No, what Ajim has is not, what Ajim has for Wodemaya is not jealousy. But he's angry with his audience. He's regretting his approach to this whole YouTube thing. Like if he knew, he would not have done it this way. He would have done it the other way. But Ajim, do you know that it's not too late to do things right? And this guy is saying that Wodemaya went to Nigeria, film all the industries in Nigeria. Between Wodemaya and the Nigerian industries owners and who is promoting who and who is supposed to be thankful to who Wodemaya, of course is the one promoting the business owners because as youtubers we don't do these things for free we do not film about your business for free we do not give you free publicity because you like it or not you are going somewhere with that information like youtube is a very big platform that Wodemaya was even the one given to them. The point of argument for me here is not if Wodemaya or the Nigerian industry owners, owners who did who a favor. All that Ajim has done for Nigerians, they could not even lift him to at least. Where he is, my brother? You see where you are now. You know they possible that you Nigerians, uh, the the star makers are going to help you if you have nothing valuable to offer 
because you see now a few nigerians are the one at your comment section coming to laugh enjoy themselves mm -hmm. because that is going to make up for that but why don't you tell your nigerians powerhouse to make you because this guy is struggling and he opened his mouth to say that he's struggling ajim is not jealous of odemaya ajim is angry with nigerians that they refuse to make him imagine someone that travels around africa around the world to do content create valuable content you sitting down and out of desperation allowing your desperation to blind you because you want people to believe you hate ghana you hate ghanaians that way they're going to love you it's not it's, it doesn't work that way so for you to cash out you need a different niche entirely where you are going to be able to add value to people's life okay so this is um the video that ajim has because what the maya did not call nigerians noise maker what the maya i mean uh, ajim actually did the only thing what the maya may have done is describe a situation and you to match it it's up to you so if what the maya say noise pollution and you now feel like the people that can pollute the hair with noise, like and that can really pollute everywhere with noise and Nigerians. So what thing be this? Fella said, I did not say Gida or I said Baba. If you say Gida, now you sabi. Baba. If you say Gida, now you sabi. What the Maya only said, noise pollution. You you say Nigerians. So you feel like Nigerians are the ones that deserves that title because of course you are angry with them that they didn't make you a star i jim i'm not even telling you to stop please don't stop continue but um you have to understand something now your friends nigerians have been some nigerians of course they can never drag all of us into it and that's why they are fighting crying every day you want to destroy nigerians you want to destroy nigeria because we refuse some of us will never collaborate with them to put other people down so your friends that are using you crave their desire their hunger to look down on other people the truth is that um they will never make you okay yeah they are they will never they can never make you because they will not make you they don't make anybody they don't okay they will never make you they don't they didn't make with the maya so some of them are saying they want to go and subscribe here i am wondering let's say six thousand people may have seen the video six thousand people unsubscribe someone that has one point something million come on bro don't let your hate kill you. Hmm? So now, if Nigerians have been doing this thing, did they tell you that they have been bullying Ghanaians for the longest time? Like, they have been bullying Ghanaians all, like, this generation come, go, they bully Ghanaians. This one come, go, they bully Ghanaians. So if this generation of Ghanaians just sit down and say, okay, let's, let us, let us deal with that, let us speak. And now you guys are saying they shouldn't have. I mean, like, is the audacity for me? Uh uh. Is the audacity for me to think it's okay to troll other people? I, during the AFCON, I could see a lot of people lamenting, making video. Hey, Nigeria, people hate Nigerians. Oh, I never knew that Nigerians are hated like this. Oh, you people were crying. I didn't say anything because, man, apart from the fact that I am not a fan of food, football, I hate to talk about things that don't interest me. I am not a fan of football. Apart from that fact, I was surprised that some people are complaining. Why are you complaining when people give you back a little bit of what you have been given all your life? When it comes to social media bully, bullies, majority of these bullies are made from your favorite country. They drag and they call it cruise. You know, Nigerians will drag other people, mock Ghanaians, mock everybody, call them this and that. And when you talk, when Ghanaians complain, they will say it's cruise, oh, you know, to the vest, na cruise with the cash. Okay, now they say me then cash, tiny cruise, now they won't catch. Everywhere is on fire. Hey, they hate us, oh, ah, Nigerians hate it like this. Why are they? <laughs> you see, you can't take the energy you have been given. Then it simply means you should stop. Stop giving. 
it is wrong stop giving but it's okay don't stop giving keep giving but be ready to receive because Ghanaians are waking up and a lot of the young generation are coming hard to defend themselves and you are going to be at the receiving end and crying again hey they hate us they hate us you playing the victim like i don't get it anyways that is um that is just cruise mm -hmm. Wodemaya is catching cruise mm -hmm. bafana bafana when so now now let's look at that scenario where after the Igu went against the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. By the time they won South Africa, there is this cartoon character on TikTok created by Nigerians where a Ghanaian man in their usual manner was just on his own pressing his phone when Nigerians drove past by and just slapped a Ghanaian man. And he was like, Charlie, what did I do? And they just drove past. Like, you people are doing all these things and it's a joke it's fun to you then when people just sneeze you start crying hey they hate us they hate us go and report to god now who are you going to report to when you are the real bully you bully people so much and then when they decide to like sneeze you cry anyways indians are there at the comment section of our gym defending because you guys have a lot in common with indians yeah Ghanaians. you can't compare ghana to any african country they have gone far ghana is like america mm. the reason like americans they love their country they defend their country they care about their own they want to protect their country they do this for their country they take care of their citizen you know look after their own they want to make sure that they confess we see in ghana a ghanaian comes first even a condemned criminal is treated with Hey, and they are put first before any other thing before money before tribe before any other thing you can think of their their country comes first so who does that nobody except america yeah america is the country where you see an american man american police give all his life american military man give all his life it's only america that make you you go to america and you don't want to come back and that is how ghana is doing it see me now i can't go back <laughs> i'm trapped <laughs> i'm trapped in ghana i can't go there is no way for exit because when you come here and you live here and you experience life here you just don't want to go back like what is the point nobody they worry you uh lights the day like see lights <laughs> <laughs> so so you guys this is going to make you guys cry very well cry uh, cry okay yeah so um ghana is actually like america 